So today is Sunday. We arrived on Friday quite late. We had a very eventful journey because the car was just not. It was a bit polar, still yeah. pulling out. So yesterday we had a manic day, empty car, try to sort things out. But we did manage in the morning first thing to get the uh, head sail on because there was no wind, so that's a good job done. Yeah. Bit of a pain like it always is to pull up. Today didn't realise it was Sunday. I need a few bits from car shop or to try and find some bits to do that diesel tank. So today I'm going to fit the alternator, but then I realised all the pulleys. So all the pulleys were rusted up to buggery, like really rusted, because obviously we leave it and it's just, they just do. So I've just taken out water pump off, see water pump, clean that, taken this off to get it behind there, cleaned all them before I do alternate. I've got a new bracket to put on, so now I'm just going to start doing the alternator. Yeah. And then see how we get on. I'll record it. Hopefully I won't find no else. Yeah, no. Untoward and whatnot. <laughs> Belts and everything look all right. I put a new, I put a new, uh, see what a belt on there because that one will just that was uh, lost. Yeah, you can see, yeah, you can see how much tennis. rust that's a little small pulley, that's big pulley. They were literally mm. welded on to anyway. New so that's the job for today. See how we get on. Yeah, and you, you, mister, you're just a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nikki, and this is my gorgeous family. Chris, Bo, Bear, and our salty puppy, Buddy. We've been sailing around the world for three years now on Pickle, a catamaran we bought, renovated, and learned to sail on after I had a life-changing epiphany when I was in ICU with meningitis. Subscribe, welcome aboard, and enjoy the ride. Having the old pooch. So I just wanted to bring you outside, guys, today, third day here, because Chris has been working on fixing our fuel tank. I don't know if you remember last year, we had a rather large leak and he like bodged it with like um, a flexible um, gas pipe, wasn't it? Yeah. Gas pipe. Uh, so we got the right fittings in the UK and we've brought them back with us and he's like trying to, trying to do it in a non-bodgy way. <laughs> yeah, well, so it's proper. Like, Let me just show you now. I, I happen to have some of that. Yeah. So, and that works perfectly. The only problem is... Are you going to tell them what that is? It's... Yeah, it's like a, like a lock type. It's like a lock type, but yeah. it's, yeah, bond lock for B271, which is great for... Fuels. Sealing and locking threads, and it's um, oil and... Petrol. Any of them sort of things Fuels. resistant, which yeah. is great. The only problem is if I mess it up, I've got to eat up to 300 degrees. To get it off. Anyway, it off. hopefully won't do that. So anyway, so yeah, I've, I've... Here we go. I've sort of bent pipes as best I can, and I've got a tap on. I've just got to try and get... Let me just show them in there. Right, see that we put a new tap on the tank in That's there, which fitting, is just yeah. literally impossible to get to. And there's bent that pipe that I'm just showing you. Let's put a new tap, which is accessible, guys, so we actually can turn our fuel tank off. And then, this, and then this part here, I've just bent this little bit, but it's so close, I've had to slacken this off, and now I've tried, got to try and get an olive on there and an olive on there with the fittings on. So them two fittings, one on that side, one on that side, which... It's really tricky, yeah, it's such a small... Because it's Without bending the pipe, we don't want to bend the, the, kink the pipe too much, well, do we? Yeah, I've, I've got to try and plier it as round as possible, because it's such a tight fit in there, I've got to like plier it and just try and get it so it pushes on as far as it can, because I need the olive to be i need the pipe to be stuck out of the olive even if it's only a couple of mil it's fine but it's got to be stuck out otherwise it'll just crimp end the pipe of and won't seal so that's just okay. what i'm doing now that's what doing. i'm just going to leave it till tomorrow then i'll nip it up and then hopefully tomorrow when i put fuel in hopefully fingers crossed can't cross my fingers but hopefully it doesn't leak because i've got a right job if it does so. we'll let out loads of provisioning today and uh, come back to uh, see bear's face looking rather handsome we're gonna come show us your face no. bear come on Come show everybody your lovely face. What's the point? Why did you do it? Come on. No. Come on. No. Listen, no. Whose eyebrows have you got? <laughs> Whose eyebrows have you got? Those eyebrows, but that's all I'm showing you. And whose moustache have you got? No. 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 He's drawn all over his face and no. crazy forward. Look. And he's pulling him back. Look. And this is what uh, Bose look like, but it looks like a Hitler moustache. Crazy. There's a moment of truth 
It's crunch time. Crunch time. Bit apprehensive, oh. been apprehensive about it all night. You've been stressed it, haven't you? Yeah, I've not been. Fingers crossed everybody because it's... Big job if you don't stress <laughs> Well, I've glued that in. And if, it, if it's, I think that'll be okay. It's, I think it's just the, the, the joints where the um, olives are. But we put this in. It is Starbright. Star yeah, Starbright company. Really good company. But th this is for treating diesel bugs. So yeah. if you just use this all the time, you don't get it. But if, we, we generally try when but I we remember. We definitely got it because when you was blowing the last uh, diesel, out, I definitely saw a diesel bug in the bottom of that tank. So I'm telling you guys, I'm, I'm more worried about the diesel bug than I am. So it's, it's but anyway, the leak. You put in um, 10 mil for 40 litres out. I'm 10 mil for 20 litres, isn't it? No, it's 10 mil. I'm 10 mil. Hang on, initial dosage, add 10 mil for every 20 litres of diesel. Go. 10 mil every 20 litres. Refills, add 10 mil. What I do is I just give it a good, but it's really expensive. But yeah. Well, we need load now, don't we? So just put a load so in. So I'm going to put like half in. Yeah, because we're going to fill the tank up, aren't we? They won't blow. Well, I don't know if you want half in now, because you ain't going to have that much diesel to put in at the moment. Well, I'm gonna, I can thing just on. go out and get back some more diesel. All right, diesel's going in. I'm trying to zoom in on the bit. Oh, it's all looking good. Not a drop, should we open it up? Sure, definitely dry. It's totally 100% dry. Right. Not a drop. Well, that's the, what we want to worry about. The rest of it should be Not fine. Not a drop, look. Ready? Yeah, go on, turn it. Da, 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 da. Come on, come on, come on. What's just happened, Christopher? Not good, is it? No. <laughs> so, anyway, diesel tank. I'm, I'm, I'm channeling my inner zen here. Yeah, you really are. Not get really You're doing very well. You're doing fantastic. I'm, I'm literally on boiling point. I'm impressed. Anyway. Very proud. So fuel tank seems fine. I haven't checked it again because we've got big issues. I thought I'll start engine up, see how it runs, blah, blah, blah. Engine Started lovely. Fine. Yeah, yeah. No charge from all now. Yeah. So I'm like, now energy solutions in the UK where we bought it from. We've had a right palaver with them. Um, it's never worked since then we got it. No, You've it's, been meant back be, it's meant to be 120 amp and it's only pumping out like a 70 amp. So You've been back and forth for years with them. Yeah, and I spoke to Balmar direct in America. And post it to them and then they'll send it to Balmar. That's what they said. And that's what we did. We did all that, which was a massive job. And they just sent it back to us, don't they? They said it's not under warranty, but they knew it wasn't under they knew the warranty had run out. When they, I, bought, I told them when I bought it, they even had they even had the invoice. I left it at that because I was just furious and it was just one of them. Anyway, so I brought it back, put it on. This is this is the voltage regulator. This is what it is. It's the ARS5, which is an advanced regulator system which controls all the parameters of the alternator. Basically, the voltage, the bolt load, the, the, it does a five stage, char five stage charging. It's all very complicated. When I look at the wires, I realise that these here are well sort of corroded. These these bits here that are that the insulator, so obviously they don't touch. And then when I touch this one, it's well, it's not existent. It's gone. Broke off, yeah. So I'm hoping it's that. I'm going to cut all the wires off, and I'm going to put a new terminal each one, and then hopefully. Fingers crossed again with the big fingers crossed, it works. Yeah, you can stop stressing about it. Why's Inner Zen's gone? <laughs> you're doing, really, you're doing yeah. really well, Chris. I've never seen you so Even less. Even Bo said, I know. I'm not getting stressed out about this. Normally you're throwing things about and chatting at everybody. First sale of the season. We are uh, sitting off in a minute. Hi. I don't know why he's chose to get up at half past four in the morning. He could just sleep. <laughs> he could just sleep. He doesn't need to be up, but he wants to get up. He was worried about um, getting seasick. It's actually, he just wants to wear his life jacket. He's got a new life jacket. Guys, and he's got up at half four because he's so desperate to wear his new life jacket. Isn't it wonderful to have that sort of energy? Because you're a child. Anyway, so today we are sailing on to Crotone. First sail of the season. We're going to go to Crotone because... Um, we can't lift out here and we want to do our antifoul because it's a bit of a mess. So, um, I mean, it's not, it's not terrible, but it isn't great. So we're just going to do it because, you know, um, any sort of models and stuff on the bottom, we'll just eat away at your paint and then your fiberglass and wreck things. So we're just going to go do that. Hopefully we get lifted out Monday. It's now Thursday. It's about 17 hours out, I think, from here. Roughly, something like that. We'll see all the weather. At the moment, there's no wind at all. So, might be a bit slow, but if we're motoring, we'll see when we get out there. Hopefully the wind will materialise, as it's shown to do. 
Only light winds, but it should be enough to sail. We will see. Um, but I can take you with you. So I haven't filmed much, but, you know, it's been, like, really busy. It's crazy how many jobs you have to do. Do you even yeah. remember? Isn't it? Yeah. We've been, like, provisioning and putting ropes on the boat and jack stays and... Oh, oh you, you name it. Electrics, trying to sort that out, putting a plotter and maps back on because we had a rain marine plotter fixed, didn't we? Over winter, got that set up. And then we had troubles to refit it on and put all that back on. So I had to even ring rain marine, actually, for some help to get data back from our old one, which is lost and corrupted, apparently. Anyway. So, yeah, really, really busy. Bo and Bear washed the boat down yesterday, mostly Bo. Bear was just an arse and kept spraying over the hose, didn't you, Bear? Brothers, little boys and toys. Anyway, so, yeah, off we go. Should we go outside? Do you want to come outside with me? No. No, you don't. Look at him laying himself down. Just come into bed. <laughs> go get my bed. Oh. I used to love it. In my mum's bed. Love you, darling. Oh, it's the best thing ever. Getting in my mum's bed. I've got a cup of tea. I'm going to put it down here. Getting in my mum's bed. Oh, what is it about getting in your mum's bed when you're little? It's always more comfy than yours, isn't it? And it smells good, doesn't it? It's all cosy. Yes. It's always more, it does, isn't it? Yeah. It's always amazing. It's not like getting in your own bed. It's ten times better. What, I'd definitely go back to bed if I was him. I think it's crazy. Anyway, guys, let's have a look where we're going. On my plotter. So, look, that's us on the boot of Italy. This is Sicily, this is Italy, and we're going to go from here, around there, to Quartone. And we're all the way around to there. And then on, this is Thursday, so we'll arrive, like, tonight, hopefully, and then we'll spend the weekend here showing for some bad weather, and we're going here to be lifted on Monday, hopefully. I think that's about 70 miles, so we're going. <laughs> you ready for your first sail of the season? Ready as I'll ever be. Feeling positive, daddy doos? Well, no wind is there, so it's... Not yet. It's mopped up. We'll see what it's like. For now. Yeah. Everything ready? Everything ready, just about ending up. We've never read it. Let's go. Well, that was short-lived. Sorry, guys. Well, we had a bit of a sail. Just past Samba. Yeah. And all of it are like coming at whatever point, I don't so, know. So, yeah, I was stood up because these little windows on our um, oh. coach roof thing was just steamed up and I couldn't see. I'd wiped them, couldn't see. So I stood up on the seat so I can see over the top, you know, like I do. And um, there's a really shallow sandbar which I had to get over. So I had to stand up the whole way for quite a way out, wasn't it, this time? Yeah. Sandbar's quite big. So, um, yeah, I was stood up and from that angle, you can't actually see that top of the engine panel. So when Chris came back into the cockpit, he went, oh, when did the, that light come on? And I didn't even know the light was on. Which is, oh, no, battery light, saying, battery oh, light. saying batteries not getting charged. But just literally, a little bit before that, maybe a minute or two before that, I'd looked inside and the alternator was putting in charge, but it was going, I say, for example, eight amps, six amps, eight amps, six amps. And it was does, jumping up and down. His batteries are full of charge. Are full. Yeah. Shush, Baba. Shush. Oh, he's, he's tired. He's yawning. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it was working, so I don't know what happened or when it stopped working, obviously, because I was stood up looking out, I didn't see. Uh, you spotted it, thankfully you spotted it. And then we had the conversation of, um, should we come back or not? And obviously I wanted to just sail on, fix it when I got there, and Chris wanted just to come back. So I got the ump when Chris won the argument and we come back. And then I'm quite glad that he did, really. Back, and obviously I, I wanted to just carry on hand steer for 17 hours and... Uh, Fix it when we got there. And I didn't. And you didn't, yeah. Well, the, only thing, the only thing for me were really with that were the fact that there's loads of crappy rainy weather coming and I might just seem to struggle. The amount of power consumption we have, fridge going five amps constantly. Yeah. We're not getting... If, if, there, if there's no wind, we're not going to get no charging batteries. If it lasts, for, if it lasts till after the weekend, I just think batteries would be mullered. Anyway, so, anyway, we had this conversation. I didn't want to come back. He did. He won. We come back. I couldn't be asked of his being grumpy, so we come back, and I'm glad that I did come back because as we was parking, literally, as we were just, <laughs> as we were an half away from pontoon. I, thankfully, I'd come in really slow because it's like no wind, so coming really slow. I was just like pottering in, I'd be like reversed up, and then I just went putting forward to go forward that last little bit straight alongside the um, little pontoon here, and I lost reverse gear, went into reverse to slow down, and I had nothing. So I don't I was know like, if you lost reverse gear, but it Chris, just started screaming. I've and lost then it, engine. I've lost everything, do, do something. something. So I jumped off. 
he jumped off. I'll show you where he jumped off. So he jumped off down there on that slippy little pontoon. It's only skinny, and when you jump on, they move and they slip it. So I jumped off with two ropes in my hand and got both ropes and just wrapped them around that pole. So front end, just there, swung were no big, in. there were no big orange fender up front, obviously, don't hold it. Front end just come round and, and literally just tapped. But only a little bit. We were going, we were going quite it slow. It was better than hitting wall anyway. Cause, yeah, I, don't, because yeah, I was worried about hitting that. that. <laughs> tides out now, we wouldn't have hit that rubber thing either. So. No, I was worried about hitting that. But um, I actually thought he was going to go up there and put his feet on the wall to stop us, but he... He jumped off, seven, so... I don't think I'd have stopped a seven-ton putt, but uh, not in, spit, in length for my legs. No, maybe not. Anyway, <laughs> we stopped us. Thank, well done. Well done. And that thing there, dreaming. So I don't know if it's just for whatever reason seized up, which is totally... It was screaming. So it was screaming at me, and I'd lost everything. I went from first gear, forward gear, sorry, to reverse gear, and it went from OK to nothing. And as soon as I put it in reverse, it just started screaming. So whether the alternator seized up or something, I don't know. I don't know if it is alternator, you know. Scary. I don't know if it is all in there because going from one from forward to backwards, I don't. They won't have no effect at all in there whatsoever. It's still spinning. So I'm going to have a look in a minute anyway. I'm if just... is the gearbox gone, guys? That's that's a major problem. Major problem. Anyway, anyway, here we are, and we'll let you know what we do. We've yeah. got bad weather in two days, so we will get this fixed and get we're gone. We're stuck here for a good week or so now, aren't we? D yeah, I don't know. I don't know, we'll, we'll let you know. We're feeling rather sorry for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just had a little, a little look at the engine. Um, I think we're gonna have to get the Yanmar uh, mechanic out to get some diagnostics done, because that's the hard part, making you find out exactly what it is that's wrong, even if Chris can fix it himself, it's to find out exactly what's wrong. So, um, basically, when we engage gear, um, it still spins the gearbox. The gearbox looks okay, thank God. I mean, he's, he's looking at that. I think, I think, like that's okay. But um, yeah, it's not. It's not engaging. So putting in reverse or full gear, it still spins. So it must be the clutch. And maybe the really big squealing noise and the terrible noise it makes when you start it is because the the clutch is just like, or something in the clutch or whatever is disintegrating, like breaking up inside. I don't know. I don't know, I think Chris thinks that maybe if he can get it off and pull the engine forward he'll be able to do it himself, but we'll have to see. We'll get a mechanic out and see what happens. Testing to see if the alternator's working, but listen to this. That's bad, isn't it? That's bad. Um, do you know what, Chris? Do you know what I've just worked out? Look, no, that's the alternator if you didn't. This is going to get you, this is going to get you, this is going to get you. I've just worked something out. Okay. Um, we had a mechanic come yeah. and look at it, yeah. and they said it's a spring in the back. So this hasn't got, this clutch hasn't really got a clutch if, as such, this engine. It's got like a spring, yeah. which engages the front, forward, or, or reverse gear. Yeah. But what I've just worked out, right, mm. all those months since last year in Venice, we've been. You've been stressing about a noise. We changed that entire coupling system because you double. Oh my god, that's what it was. Was sure it was rattling and making a noise, and this whole time it was that spring. Oh right, yeah. That spring's been breaking down and going. It's just yeah. occurred to me all this noise, all this time it's been getting louder and louder and louder. You're going, oh, it's a noise, a noise, and we didn't know what it was. And you, all that coupling we bought, we did all that, and the noise couldn't carry on. All that on. time in Venice, we could have been saying it's a fucking, it's a flipping spring, a spring. <sighs> Where's the spring that's showing me? I mean, that, okay, guys, it's not just a spring. It's inside. It's like you've got to take it, the whole engine out and, and put it in, put it back. But even so... We literally spent a month in Venice and spent loads of money and went to all this trouble trying to fix this and thing, it's and spring. it's a spring. Where is it? Where is it? It's in here, where the gearbox attaches to the uh, engine. No. So, guys, we are now delayed. I'm sorry I look like this, because I'm working on engines. Um, we are now delayed because we've got two days, today and tomorrow, of good weather, and then it's a really nasty storm. Oh, oh yeah, really nasty, but yeah. quite a nasty storm. So the mechanic can't do it today or tomorrow. Um, it's going to do it in the next few days, though. He said, said sometime, maybe two, three, four, five days. Okay, Soon. so within the next week. And then we'll have to wait for a weather window again. <laughs> so we are delayed once again, guys. No. Why isn't it starting? Is that the new one? No, it's an old one. I haven't got me new one yet. Buddy! What, what is that? That is a starter solenoid. So the starter solenoid also stops. Yeah. This problem as well. Yeah, but I, don't, I don't think if you've got a new one, I don't think it'll make a difference. It's a... 
It's working out what it is that's causing it. I'll have to put new one on and see what I... And guys, this is what it's like living on a boat. <laughs> it's constant, honestly. Like, you get a mechanic out to diagnose mm -hmm. problem, and we had to jump start our own engine and when he told us to t stop it we had to press the stop button on the engine and not the stop button at the control button because that doesn't work. It work. So it's like And I keep You only look a map it doing that. Oh, jump start so he's got all the fenders, yeah. Oh. That we're gonna yeah. Bend, so. Oh. It's all mouldy and all We've right. never ever used it, it's been in the bottom of that locker since we bought the boat. Take it! Get it, get it, buddy. Get I gave it a bit of a scrub because oh, it was like covered yeah. in mould that would come off, so. Yeah. Yeah. So I scrubbed it right. Like it! Get it, get it, get 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 get it
without breaking. It's aluminium, isn't it? Yeah, and goes Cut. back in one piece. It 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 might be all right. I'm thinking if it's cast aluminium, that is just going to break up if you don't but replace it. It's probably worth replacing, but I can have a look at prices. Gonna have to look at prices on that um, from French Marine in the UK. I don't know if it's going yeah. to be cheap. It's going to be a few hundred quid, that. I, I guarantee it'll be a few hundred quid. So just, it is what it is. I'm going to take So we got this good news. We're like, oh, yeah, it's a spring rather than like a massive clutch or gearbox or anything. So it was like, yeah, that's really great. And now we've just found that the... Bell housing's all cracked. All crack, so. yeah, and I mean, crack. it might be cracked in other places, but until I get it off... In all fairness, I'm standing here, look, sitting here looking at this now, and I would have to say that that's not just being done that because it doesn't look like a clean break. It's dirty. Anyway, guys, we will keep you up to date with what we're doing and what we're fixing and how we're doing it um you know if any of you guys are out there sailing trying to work this shit out the same as we are then you'll know how hard this is in these weird locations that you're not used to being in um yeah and you might be interested in how we fix stuff and what we do so we will keep you informed having a bad day guys but you know what i can cook yes oh. you oh can. yeah not mine I don't, i'm not gonna get a mouth around that there's no way <laughs> Bloody and poor old bear, with his nasty joints about your neck, haven't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All, your, all, your, all, your, all your neck sort of like dislocated, didn't it? So you've got a heat pop in your neck and you'll be okay. You can have some dinner, you'll feel better. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's do something very silly that I don't think is a very good idea, but he's doing it anyway. He's going to lift the engine, which is extremely heavy, out of the engine bay and onto like wood blocks so they can work on it, which is absolutely mental. And he's probably going to hurt his back, so I'm going to record. So there's proof. He can't come outside, but he wants to. He wants to watch because he's a very curious doggy. Aren't you? <laughs> right. Hang on, let me out before you do it. So I can get this on camera because this is absolutely mental. Right. He's absolutely mental. Oh my god, he's lifting the engine. Have you hurt your back? Oh, that, 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 that was actually, yeah. See, what would you have done if Dad was on air? Wouldn't have lifted it. 150 kilo this engine. And Dad's, engine on its own. Dad's dead lifting. Yeah, and everything else is attached to it. Oh, God, yeah, because there's an alternator on there. This is about nine kilos, isn't it? Oh, so that's, there, so that's how he's lifted it. Look, he's attached it yeah, on the two lifting systems. Hang on. I have to watch this wire here with a kink in. Okay. Makes my back hurt watching this, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, we did it! What are you doing? It won't come out, it won't go in, he just wants to get involved, doesn't it? It's in between us, what? <laughs> no, Thanks to the Marineros who got us this, by the way. Thank you guys. Got us what? The, oh, the, the word, timber? The yeah. Word. yeah. Won't let me go by it. Look at that! It's Look at that crack! No, it's oh mullered. Oh my god! Ah, it's the gear, but. Never gonna get that off, you I know. Think. But at least we're going to get... I think the screws are going to come off. No, they're not the going to come off. Where's that big screwdriver? They ain't going to come out in a million years. Whichever idiot had this boat before us, I hope you're watching, because the stuff that you've done on this is ridiculous. And whoever put them in there, can the screwdriver bolt is, is, is totally pathetic. Can I just say, in my lifetime, I've been called the most negative person ever. Look at him! You can see the negativity literally shining off of him. There's no negativity, boy. That's I'm, negativity. I'm you, they will not come out. The stainless steel in aluminium, they will no, not come out in a million years. This is between a negative person who sat there gave up aluminium. and a positive person who sat working on it. See, look, you're positive. I'm going to go in. End of it, it's in. Oh my god, mum's got a hammer. Yeah, the end of it. No, oh, the end of it, I need to put a new end on it. I need to put a new end on it with Dremel. <gasps> Mr. Negative, flipping. <laughs> Said, oh, we're gonna have to yeah, take the engine off. I said, it come off, didn't I? I said, it come yeah, off. Shut the fuck up. And Dad's like, mm, no, we're gonna have to take the whole engine off. I've been off. for how long? No, I've been around engineering. Oh, you don't know. I was right. You're gonna have to try and get it. I was right. Me, because I'm, down I'm just special. I was right. Aha, uh -huh. I was right. Again, oh, that's right. <laughs> It's going to hit spin around, isn't it? It's not that, he tipped his shirt on my finger on the bad coat. <laughs> really hurt. You're wrong, Courtney. Oh, yeah, oh, it's so good! <laughs> I love my silly spanner. I love that I'm such a positive person and you're such a negative I one. love that I'm so right and I got it on camera how wrong he is. 
Oh, it's just the best. <laughs> to be fair, he's just negative about everything. It, I know. You know what I mean? Most things, most you're times, you're he's right when it comes to engineering. I was around engineering my whole well life. I know. <laughs> no, you did not. Try not to get on these wires if you can. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Anyway, oh, it's one of them, isn't it? You've got to get back there, though. Yeah. Yeah. Ow! What the hell? What the hell? What the fuck are you making me jab? What the fuck are you doing? Spanish red I've just put on the leg and put the leg. Oh my god. Well, let's just try it. This is so funny. I'm just so happy now. I'm right. I love being right. It's like my favourite thing. I don't know if that's had as much hot water on it, but. It was turning anyway. Oh, I'm so happy I'm right. Oh my god, it moves. Well, I was, the I was determined to get that out anyway. Whatever happened, I was going to get that out. <laughs> well done, Daddy Dude. Well done, well done, us. Well done, us. Well, I'm clever, but he's got the brute strip. No, you're always one with hot water, aren't you? You're always hot water. I know. Me and me hot water, man. It cures the hot water. Hot water, knife. It's just mum's speciality. Look, we've got it off. So basically, it has got a clutch like a car, you said, like a small clutch. Where? Got exactly. So, there, where? look. That's the clutch there, look. There, look. The whole clutch. There, there, the springs that op operate the Move clutch. Hand. So oh. not only are we going to have to replace the well. gearbox now, we've got to replace the clutch because, look. It's, it's, to it's totally destroyed itself here, look. Destroyed no the teeth. Left. And then on the inside like of the clutch is the same. Should be like that, look, yeah. it's not, it's got them, so. Jesus so we've got to get a whole new gearbox. And a whole new like clutch. Just short two grand. And a whole new clutch. Bloody hell. And it's just taken us about six days to get it off. Right, that, that was, that, the, what it is, is... Look, was that, you don't have to cut them off and get them cut them off. Oh. Whoever's done it before, I mean, you... Honest God, the person that had this bike yeah, before us must be a complete and utter... Idiot. But in all fairness, Nick, it... Oh. Yeah, you use Duralac for starters. You don't put stainless steel yeah. screws into a bloody aluminium cast frame without Duralac. No. They haven't used Duralac. They haven't used Duralac. They haven't used Duralac. Nicky, look. What? It wasn't the thread that was stuck. Did you ever try and unscrew that before? Yeah, it snapped off. It wasn't the thread that was stuck. It's because there's it no... It's stuck into this. It's... it's, 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 it's yeah. Because that's that's cast iron, yeah. that's aluminium. It's that stuck into there. It's, it's the reaction. Do oh, you know what? They're idiots. They're, honestly, I don't know. For the sake of a, I can't understand. For the sake of a ten quid tube of jewel lac, it's. I know, but was it the round in the nineteen eighties or whatever? And also, why wouldn't they get the right length bolts? How much would it cost, really? How hard would it be to go and buy with yeah. it five, six bolts, all the same, all matching? All the right size with a bit of jewel lac. I mean, yeah. really, would it be that hard? But no, you shouldn't even have that head on it. You should have. You shouldn't have a head on it. No. It should be a bolt. So even Why the but even the bowl of the screwed a nut on it. Right, they just like budged yeah. it. I don't. <laughs> so now oh, I've got project boat, wouldn't so, it? So now I've got to lift the engine back. But in all fairness, it's a little bit lighter, but that don't weigh enough at all. Go. Anyway, so clutch, gearbox, broken. Broken. What is broken on there? The, that the, the splines the have gone. The splines have gone. Yeah, it's totally. Can it should have splines in there. Can you see in there? Look, can you see? Oh, look at oh, the hell's that? Look at this. Go on, show them this. What the hell? Look at the clutch has been eating itself then. No, it's just rust. Jesus. And that. It's going to be pricey shocking. though, this, isn't it? This is going to cost thousands. thousands. Oh my god. Thousands and thousands. A whole awesome. new gearbox. A whole new clutch. Uh, yeah, we can get measurements from that. Oh my god. It's a wee bit bent. <laughs> it's, it's a wee bit bent. Absolutely mental, guys. Just start, like, start your season. Already late. Already had like kind of issues this this, this year yeah. with health conditions. Well, medical. Is mine. I can't really didn't get here. That still needs fixing. Oh yeah, it's really That's like a bag of and, like, Yeah, really badly. And now this. Who would ever think, oh, I'm just going to start my season by rebuilding my entire engine. Okay, no, that's an exaggeration. My entire clutch and gearbox. Well, what's that on your head? It. It's all the... Stop it. I want to, I want to, I want to... Let me take one more look at that dust bag. Look, can I get this? Look. Clutch and no clutch. Hand on, have a pin mental look at that. So, I'm on this wall. I probably broke my back if I fell down, but okay. And look, I bet it's all going over there. Yeah. Tiny little pickle. And there's a car. It's raining and dramatic, but beautiful. And there's mum and the dog. And I'm up here. No, look how far away they are. The beach is lovely, I should say. I should want a bikini, I'd have gone for a swim. It's so beautiful. <laughs> look at 
Look at him, he's crazy. And I'm all the way here. In my shorts. <laughs> and look, up there, up there's the castle. It's really beautiful. We still have more around that, you know? But yeah, very dramatic skies today with the mountains in the distance and the, all the sea and you can hear the waves. It's really beautiful. And I have to try and get down here. And there the mummy is waving. Probably the safest thing. Oh my god, that's supposed to move. Starfish! You want it? Is it back? Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, I ain't going swimming there then. Oh, guys, I'm going to go swimming by the way. That don't look alive. No. Dogs don't eat it. So let's hope it's not alive. No, it's not. Let's not eat it. It doesn't even eat it anyway. It might do. It might be like, oh, that tastes nice. Does it taste nice? It's poisonous for dogs. They're not going to let him eat it. Does it taste nice? Do you want to eat it? Is that alive? I don't know. Oh, there, do you want to go swimming? Yeah. I'm going. Buddy! <laughs> so these lunatics are swimming! It's giving it the bin! Woo! Rainy day, man, and we're swimming on the beach! I'm naked and it's freezing! You're naked and it's freezing! That's the best way! What are they doing, buddy? What are they doing? It's such a cool day. Rainy and drizzly, and now swimming at the beach. I might just strip off and go in myself. <laughs> I want you to know there's two things here, guys. One, the dog's growling at a fender. A crazy fool. Oh, he's going to stop now, video, and of course he's going to stop now, video. And two, how dirty my clean carpet is already. We've been back one week and it now looks brown instead of grey. Look at it. Dog. Honestly, that, and that's we've been careful, haven't we? We've worked on the engine. Well, yeah, I and, have, but certain people. It's just walking in that, isn't it? I can't stop walking in that. Listen. Listen. Oh, well, he's going to knock his dinner as well. Breakfast. Oh, yeah. Get you it. Managed, you managed, you managed to stop it, though. Heavy, that fender. Is, oh, dinner's going. <laughs> Get that sort of friend. Buddy, he's a, he's you look so beautiful. Like me. Buddy, you look like you're a sunflower. Look, look at me. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. What's all this sunflower in your neck? Oh, yeah, so it's been hard and in Italy apparently I don't know why they are struggling to get the parts which is really weird but they, they said he said he's trying the whole of Europe and can't get the parts because our engine's old but it's not that old it's like 2007 I mean how often do you change an engine on a boat? I don't know yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? anyway uh, we can get the parts in England from French Marine who are a fantastic company guys if you don't use them you should because they are really really trustworthy yeah, and reliable really really good I've used them for years they're fantastic we always use them they can get the parts to us some take longer than others but they've literally got the gearbox and stuff there they could give it to us straight away but shipping it to, in to into um, Italy it's the same problem we had last time guys do you remember last season when we changed that coupling on the select leg yeah you don't pay tax in England because you're importing it into Europe but in Italy customs just hold on to them because they want you to pay import charges and VAT and unless you've got a residential number like an yeah, NIA yeah. number like our national insurance number like you know to pay tax on you can't pay it they won't let you just go pay it and give the money they want to put it to somebody's actual personal number or company number so if you remember last time, guys, it was weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and me literally begging we for the boat yard. About a month, weren't we? Yeah, about a month, yeah. The boat yard, we begged and begged and begged to the boat yard agreed to let, they imported it. They like bought it for us, even though we bought it, they paid it on their national insurance number or whatever that number is, that tax number. So how do we do that here? Unless you can get Anyway, yeah. this Italian mechanic, He's really busy. He said, give him till Monday. It's now Wednesday. Give him till Monday, which is like another week, um, to try and find the parts in Italy. And if not, then we'll talk again. 
So I'm going to have to try and persuade him. Six hundred pound a month sitting here. So I'd have to try and persuade him to um, buy these parts for me from French Marine. I like give him the money and then he buys them, and then there won't be a problem with the tax import thing because it will just go through his company. I think I have to try and do that. I don't know, guys, but this is a real headache. As you know, I need to make YouTube videos for one. It's costing me an absolute fortune, six to eight pound a day or something it is sitting in this marina, which we haven't got money for any of this. This has all got to go on the credit card. Oh, That's keeping oil out. That's keeping oil out. Oh, and the gearbox and the clutch, whatever it's called, this clutch is like three thousand pounds. Where from where? Again on the gearbox from that. It's driven from that. Yeah, so it's just like, honestly, and it's been a really costly winter. We've had a lot of parts to buy and we've had health problems with bear to pay for. I don't want to bore you guys with all the finances of sailing, but guys, it costs so much money. Boat parts are ridiculously priced. Ridiculously priced. I mean, this clutch plate here, see that plate there? That there, which comes off, right? Quite a basic plate. 500 quid. Yeah, I'll put that there for a second. Five hundred pounds for that. Five hundred pounds. What would you pay for that on, in, on a car? Hundred quid. Not even that. It's crazy. They go, oh, boat. Let's make that it's ten times the price. And as you know, we try and earn money online on money. YouTube, like merchandise, patrons. We try and so we have very little money. So try this out with a family and make this all happen and share it with you guys is just tremendously hard. And now this. It will take us, well, all year and some now to pay all this back. Bye-bye Christmas presents for the kids next year, because that ain't going to happen. Honestly, it's crazy. I'm like, I don't, you're not a motorbike idea, but anybody's thinking of living this lifestyle, you need to have some savings and stuff behind your thing. Yeah, more than we have. You need to, you need to think these things through, so you're not like, in predicaments like we're in all the time anyway. So. We're gonna wait, we're gonna get on with just little boat jobs, find things to do. I keep doing my like, editing and do some work in, indoors, schooling with the kids, you know, general stuff. I'll get on with all that. And we'll have to be patient and try and wait. And hopefully this mechanic, you never know, the same mechanic might get the parts, come down, fix the boat, and we'll be off. But we can't see it. Did you wanna see the gearbox? I'm trying to show them. Oh. And what, what's more crazy is no one has ever heard of this happening. This this spline thing here just wearing itself away in the clutch plate. They said it just doesn't happen. They said it's not something that happens and the, the mechanic here, he's like the same thing. They're all thinking, well, why has it done that? There must, there must be something else wrong somewhere for that to do that. Because French Marine says we've been working on these engines and stuff for decades and never never even, you've never heard of it once. No, never heard of it. And same with the clutch going, they just don't go. They just, they just don't go. It's not really a clutch. Both of them asked if we've got rope around a propeller, which we haven't. But, have. if you remember historically when we bought the boat, the first time we took it out, the leg jumped up because there was a problem with the leg, but the last owners didn't tell us anything about anything, so we didn't know. And it rope round it, and then, because we obviously had to get recovered and then a long story short it obliterated a leg and then in 2019 we ended up getting a whole set leg, a whole sail drive rebuilt, didn't we? We got it lifted out, same by Dunham, lifted out of Portland. Portland is it built? And got a, a select leg rebuilt. So is it that? Is it like damage that was done from then or from previous owners and it's taken this long to actually wear out completely? Well, that's at least 600 hours on success. No, we do do a lot of worry because someone doesn't like to fucking tag. when there's no wind. I'm determined <laughs> to make the most of our time Sorry. stuck in a marina. Yeah. So while we're waiting for parts, Long we're going to go explore. Put? To the beach. beach. I've got a huge peppermint in my mouth. <laughs> Sweetie. So we're going to go take the dog, go down to the beach, have maybe a little walk, a little swim, mm. get some electrons back in my feet from the earth. Swim. I've got a big pocket on the front. Come right on, guys. Now. You can come with us. Let's go. Yeah. Look at these. Look at them. <laughs> and mummy. Yeah. My beautiful family there. We're back in the sea. 
I really miss this in England. My beautiful buddy. Look at this. I got so much trouble with my eyes, it's burning my face. I just got out of the sea, look. It's right by me. I made him jump. Missing a child. <laughs> Mum, get the hat and put it over my face. My hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like doing a sit up between that and the other. No, don't, 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 don't. So, Bear's now using the dog as a slave to dig him a hole. Stick, stick, stick. I'll help you, I'll help you. Bro. He's a slave dog. I'll help you. Dig, 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 dig. What is going on? Wait, what? 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 Wait, what the frick? 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 What the the death hog. Look at Oh, it's still going. Oh, it's gone. That's it. It won't let go of it. That was the best bit about our life. It won't let it go. Find ah. your own toys, don't you, mate? Yeah. This is Bo. Gives a spin, Bo. Lovely. And this is what Daddy thinks Bo looks and like. Drop in. That's actually scary. Go on, walk down the beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Bear, Bear's doing this well! Oh my god! Bear's doing this well! Oh my god! Turn around! Turn around! Let's see, Bear! Yes! Look at his tan line again, that's what your bum looks like! Turn on my tan line! Mummy, do it! Look at his tan line, look at her brother! Look in front of me! Smash it! Look at all look good! I'm not that bad. Jesus Christ, I'm not looking like that. Oh, no, 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 no. What is wrong with my parents? <laughs> no, no, there's some naked men. Just stand this way so the bug light goes. That's how oh. the bikinis, mate. Dad, Dad, watch me. I don't understand how he's trying to get some inside of your legs. Oh, oh. Looks like a I'm trying to get brown on my armpits, no, brown. No, I did. No, I said, listen, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my boxes off and stay naked. I'm losing the balance, though. I'm going to give us a punch. Oh, no, no. There's a speedboat. They're going to crash their running speedboat. Oh, my 
Oh, 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 Pull out. So anyway, so I'm just literally going through processes, trying seals. This one at the bottom is a bit, we're a bit slimy, and there's all sort of a little bit of sea, but all residue, you know, like lime scales stuff at the bottom. So I'm just doing that, and I'm gonna hopefully bring it back together, and it won't do it because this is a boat sinker, really, isn't it? If you think about it. Yeah, because it was filling the toilet up to the point where it was overflowing. Well, if one of these, if one of these went, one of these seals went, and you went on boat, it's like. It's basically a sea cook up, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Well, I've just took this off where there's all these seals on here and it's just pouring out, literally pouring out. It will like go... I don't know how it works. It can't be Well, like hang on, that. look. Surely it can't be like that. There's that much water in there. Right, that was totally dry. That's a lot Dad, move your arm. In, I can't in, see. In, in the time it took me really from taking it. that off to turn that sea cook off, that's how much water's coming out. Crazy. Which I've never really much. thought about it like that, to be honest, where it's like a... Boat big issue flooding you just sort of hope that they work don't you but anyway so i'm just i never thought about it like that i thought no. it'd be like some sort of some Stop sort of off. end of day Stop. anything attached to a sea cock is a possible sinker in it really so really i'm worried. just trying I'm to my sea cock sort of have to go out for long days from now on yeah should anyway yeah. <laughs> what ready yeah just be like a ninja but I think no. <laughs> I caught two fish. The net. Can I pick it up and show you? <laughs> Is it me zooming while they're down there? I found two. I got two baby fish. <laughs> Come on, then, let's show us. Pick it up. I want to hold one. Oh my god, this is so chilly weenie. I don't want them to sound. Uh, I'm going to the beach. So tiring. Uh, uh, uh. I, it wiped me out too. Oh, get up. Ow, my god, what? It. Wiped oh, out. Hey, Come on. Me. Sun, my hair's still damp. Look, my hair's Hello. damp. I tied it up and it's still damp. But anyway. it is 50% humidity, yeah. So, yeah, true. What are we doing now? Going to the obstacle. We've been out all day at the park. Come back, cook dinner, and made me go to the park. Don't stop. I'm I'm naked. I'm old. You Beach know. days old. are old. <laughs> old. You're not old. I've got loads of energy to be fair. Hello. I'm going on board. Yeah. I'm, I'm going on board. Well. Well. No. I'm, I'm not going in. You gotta let me have your longboard. Do you have my scooter? You scooter? No, you scooter. I've got a longboard on the I'll scooter. I'll scoot one way, you scoot the other. Okay. Deal. High five. I'll on the way there. Come on then. I can't video guys, so my phone's flat. Me? Everything's flat. I need to do some charging. Dad can take his phone. Might see a little bit. But I see it in the water. See in the water. I don't know why you're crocodile. In the water, crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In the water, crocodile. So, that's so guys we had loads of fun at the park there's a whole new like equipment area up there it's actually more for adults i think and there's like loads of exercise things like men at wood you have to follow the circuit like one to 15 and do exercises so we all did it it was so much fun obviously there's ones i can't do because my spine and stuff but and bear but we did and bow actually all of us but we you know we had some fun we had a really nice evening and then we come back, little snack, cup of tea, watched a bit of a film. Kids are now bed. I'm in bed. Everybody's in bed. You know, life's not that bad. Thank you very much, guys. I just want to take a moment, just a little moment, to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following us, being part of our story, being part of our family. Thank you to our patrons who really, really helped make all this happen. I hope you like all your extra footage. All the extra videos and polls and lives and everything else that we do on there. And obviously get to your episodes a week early. I know that you like that little treat. Watch out today then. Because you're getting to see this a week before everybody else. Um, yeah. So, you know, life's not so bad. I know we've got thousands of pounds to pay out for this engine repairs. But keep all your fingers and toes for us, guys. All crossed. And hopefully things will get back to normal soon. We'll get the engine done and um, be back out there sailing. I'm going to show you all the boat work that we do. And then hopefully we'll be sailing again. And you won't get too bored watching all the maintenance and boat work. I know you guys are interested in that anyway as well, you know. 
You want to know how to do it? Oh, don't you? It's all about sailing life and we're sharing it all with you. So thanks for watching this week, guys. See you next week. Have a great week. Love you all. See you soon. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. That's free. Become one of our patrons if you want to help us, support us or whatever. Follow the link below for that. Or you can catch me on Instagram and Facebook and sometimes TikTok. Night night, guys. Have a great day.